Okay, so I don't really need to probably say anything, but I'm I'm just gonna stop in here and just say that as you guys can see on the screen right now, it basically says every single thing. With a video like this, obviously every single thing is just meant to be a joke, but I can definitely see this being taken uh, seriously or offensively. So I just want to come in here to say that this is in no way, shape, or form any type of offense to anyone who uh, you know for, uh, celebrates the holiday or just generally to the holiday itself. It's just a bit, a bit of fun. Don't take this seriously at all. And as the script says, enjoy the video. All right, everybody. Hello and happy late Christmas. Now, you guys might be wondering, why is this dude making a Christmas video when it's almost nearing New Year? Now, to the answer of that, I'm not going to give it because you guys, if you have watched my latest video, would already know that. So, yeah, I'm not going to explain more on that. But you guys should probably watch my latest video. I mean, it's not going to be the latest now because you're obviously watching the latest video right now. But it's going to be the second latest video. So, if you guys want to know why the video is so late, uh, go ahead. But today, I since the holidays are already past, it got me wondering as to what is Christmas? Now, to some of you guys, you might be saying that Christmas is a day when Santa Claus comes to your house and gives you some presents. And to some other of you, you want to be thinking that is not true. But today, I'm going to be answering that question and saying that how I think what Christmas is. Now, you see, to explain what Christmas is, you have to take a look at the English vocabularies because in the English vocabulary, there's a lot of words that have two words stacked onto each other, which make another word. For example, if you take a look at the word input or into, you can see that there's two meaningful words put next to each other. So let's take a look at into, right? So in means some, uh, inside of something, and two means from one place to another, and into means basically inside of one place. So mean, meaning that if you put both of those words to each, next to each other, both of them keep their meaning, but they add to another meaning. Uh, and the same goes for the word output. So output is basically a word with out and put put next to each other. So if you take a look at the word out means outside, right? And the word put means basically to put something outside. Now the output word basically means you have something and you just put that thing outside. So basically we can take a look at that there's a lot of words in the English vocabulary which basically have stacking each other. Now, for the word Christmas, it is actually no different. So we have the word Chris, and in terms of Chris, we have ourselves Chris. So Chris is a lovely looking guy, as you can see over here. He, he's looking pretty handsome to himself. Now, you guys, may want, guys might be wondering, why is Chris wearing a pumpkin face mask, right? So take a look at Chris's friend right over there. As you can see, Chris's friend is really not safe, as you can see over here. Like, he has no face mask on. He's just basically roaming around with no protection at all. On the other hand, if you take a look at Chris, as you can see over here, he's a safe and a healthy little chap. He's wearing his pumpkin helmet. So, people, take a look at uh, Chris and be healthy like yourselves. Um, also, since it's coming today, we're going to do time set day. Because it's, it's also healthy to keep it day. Anyway, so the other part in Christmas is the word mass. Now, this word is a little bit more complex, so I'm going to tr try my best to explain it. So the word mass is actually a word referring as to how hard, or I should say, what rate the earth pulls you towards its core, or otherwise basically similar to the word weight. Now, obviously, I know there's a difference between the two, and since I said that, there's going to be some bombarding down in the comment section because um, I said uh, weight and math are the same thing. I know they're a little bit different, but yeah, I know that you guys are going to be mad at that. But um, they are pretty much similar. So the word mass is similar to the word weight. So if you put both of those together, it's Chris's weight day. So meaning that the holiday is given is because each and every year on the 25th of December, we celebrate Chris. Standing on this pressure plate, which actually has a lot of restaurant behind it, which basically tells you wh what is your weight, right? So uh, each and every year on the 25th of December, this little guy <laughs> actually walks over and steps on this pressure plate. And throughout the whole year, he does some exercise in his little box over there, and he tries to lose some weight. So this year, we are going to be doing the same thing. So I'm just going to fly up here and remove this barrier, 
and well this man needs to get a little bit of a nudge because he does not want to go and check his weight because i mean come on like if you guys know like if you have a little bit of weight problems yeah we all know that uh, how that feels oh oh chris is walking over that and your mass is 90 kilograms chris mate <laughs> 90 are you kidding me i i i really don't know what you guys' measure is in terms of weight but really 90 that is really really bad mate, mate you should really go do some exercise anyways that's gonna do it for to this year's chris mass tuning in next year to also find out what chris has been doing throughout the year and find out what his mass is now, just before you guys know, I just want to let you know that this is a joke. Obviously, I know what uh, actual Christmas is. Uh, and also, Chris, please, can you just not uh, show us your weight? Anyways, um, yeah, so keep this in mind. This is a joke. I'm sure I am say, say this in the intro a lot. But, um, yeah, this this was just a joke. I mean, I, I do this type of stuff basically each and every um, holiday. So I just thought that, you know what? Christmas has already been passed. But that doesn't gonna stop me because I want to make a joke and apparently Chris over here also wants to do the joke. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!